Hi, everyone. It's Dr. D and Jason. We, Jason Pellin and I are so overjoyed to be here. What we're going to do at this time is get everyone just to start gathering with us. Go ahead and click in the chat uh, where you're from and uh, you know what you're excited about uh, for tonight. If maybe there's something uh, you'd like to know about the digestive enzymes, something you'd like to know about trial size marketing. And we're going to go ahead and and uh, just see what is meaningful to you tonight. For many of you, hi, Alan. Um, very good to see you. I got to see Alan this weekend from uh, Don, uh, Jean. Um, we've got a lot of Massachusetts popping in yep, uh, Maine, tonight. So. Massachusetts, Ohio. Fantastic. Hey, I saw Deb. Toronto in there. That's good. I love that. New Hampshire. Perfect. Well, I see that some of, my, some of my peeps up in New Hampshire. That's great. Colorado, Flushing. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Everybody, welcome to you. Uh, you know, this is, a, a, you know, an exciting time for trial size marketing. I'm sure that's why you're here. That's why Jason and I wanted to be here with you today. You're probably aware that we're doing a series, and this is week two of a series of four dates where we're going to be talking about trial size marketing. And that kind of clues you in, if you can read between the lines, there are four <laughs> different um, marketing packets that we have that we can talk about. And we thought one of the best things that we could do is kind of dedicate some time to you and dedicate some time to each one of the trial size so you could get your questions answered. You could pick up some pro tips from the pro, and I'm talking about you now, Jason, right? So we could pick up some tips on ways that you could share uh, help with other individuals through these remarkable trial size. What do you, Jason, should we go ahead and get started? Yeah, let's get started. I know everyone's probably wondering, why is the web guy on a webinar about digestive enzymes. Uh, well, I'll tell you, a lot of people know this and have heard this, but my background is actually in personal training and nutrition. That's how I started my career uh, out of school. Um, I'm always fascinated by the products and Dr. D, you've done an incredible job with these formulations. And now with these uh, trial size marketing packages, it's just a no brainer as an unfranchised owner. But everyone has to remember, even though I may focus on technology and marketing, well, I still live the lifestyle, right? So all of these products are part of my life, even though I focus on say business to business sales, um, I still have a huge customer base with all of our other products as well. That's exactly right. Um, and, I, and I don't want people to underestimate uh, or overlook that, you know, one of the best products we have um, is in fact, um, the, 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 you know, the business, the B2B, the building up of our community. Um, you know, there are so many different ways for us to look at what we have to offer. And that's frankly, selfishly, Jason, I mean, let you know, that's why I wanted the web guy on a webinar with me where we would talk about product, not just because of your background in health and nutrition, physical fitness, um, but your business acumen, your uh, you know, in real life, isn't that the very popular thing to be talking about right now? IRLs, right? In real life, how are you using it? You know, how are you, you know, maximizing some of the uh, the digital tools that the companies put out for us that allows us to connect uh, customers to product and to connect, um, you know, businesses to businesses or show. Uh, a solution for people. You know, that's one of the things I always love to talk about, Jason, is that, you know, we often are connecting the dots for people, both in business and in health, whether your health space is weight loss, um, vitamins and minerals, uh, skin suticals or uh, nutraceuticals for the skin. What we're often doing is connecting the dots by providing a solution for individuals to a problem that maybe they didn't recognize that they had, or they may recognize and didn't know that there was sometimes a very simple step they could take towards um, you know, creating health or creating well-being in themselves. And that's that's one of the things I love about these trial size marketing packs, is it's a beautiful blending of the science behind nutraceuticals and supplements and the evidence behind 
Um, how do you educate a consumer about your product, the benefits, features, advantages, and benefits? And we always talk about fabbing products with features, advantages, and benefits. So thanks for joining me here, uh, Jason. It's important uh, for me to have a wingman. I know that it's always more fun in a group, and that's why we've invited all of you here um, we've kind of let the cat out of the bag. My guest tonight, or maybe I'm his guest, is Jason Pelland. Jason Pelland is our director of MA Web Centers, an internet field and marketing, uh, or internet marketing and field training for the company. I am Dr. D. I'm the vice president of product development and clinical education. And Jason and I um, have worked together. I don't know how far we go back now. Um, but I, I should share with you uh, that, you know, Jason's the guy, um, as is a good friend, Andrew Chi is that guy that I'll always reach out to, to say, I don't know how this works. And it's so great because there's reciprocity there because Jason and other people will say, I'm not sure how this works. Right. <laughs> so it's a wonderful relationship. Isn't that true? <laughs> All about teamwork, right? All the way around, even internally at the company. I love it. It's so great. So we're so excited uh, that you decided to join us here for this week. Um, as I said, this is week two of a series of four webinars. Last week, we talked about the benefits of the prime sleep sample. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about digestive enzymes, the isotonic delivery, and what makes these products different. Just know that you want to be tuning into Facebook each and every week for more information about a customer that could really be benefit. Um, that you could really benefit from utilizing the trial size marketing as uh, sharing with them the basics of optimal health with the daily essentials packets or the benefits that I said of moving into that skin suitable market with our Lumiere DV um, trial size marketing with the needle free serum. Um, many of you are working in the professional channel. And so you're so excited to be sharing the newest of the trial size, which is the Nutrametrics brand of the daily essentials. You know, Jason, we often think about starting people right in their business, starting people right on their health journey. And I think that the trial size marketing packs, because of how beautifully they've been done, how diverse the, the product offerings are, is a perfect way to say, get started in business, get started in on your own healthcare journey. Um, but tonight, I thought what we would do is go over those top 10 reasons for trial size marketing. You guys, I just want to encourage you to share in the chat. Maybe you have something that's not on Jason and I's top 10 list. Maybe you've got that, that big impact point um, where trial size has made a difference in your, um, in your life, in uh, something that you've shared or something that you've learned. Please do not hesitate. Go ahead, anything that you want to share with us, I want to see it in the chat. Everything from uh, clap emojis to your favorite tips for us. But Jason, why did we create a top 10 list? Well, because there's so many reasons why someone wants to grow a business in the first place, right? Everyone's at their own individual. They've got their own reasons. Um, we've got all these different products and sometimes it can be overwhelming. So we want you to focus on Maybe these just the top things that you should keep in mind about trial size marketing, because it all comes down to developing um, a, a strong business foundation. And, and number 10, I, it, it, it should be three. You know, every one of these could be number one, Dr. D, right? Yes. Good but point. Positive cash flow, right? You're trying to run a business. So having that cash flow is very important. Now, obviously, purchasing the samples might cost some money, but the idea is that it's going to get the products in the hands of potential customers that are going to create repeat retail sales, right? So that's important. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead and put a one in the chat if you agree with Jason. Cash flow is king and you've got to get into business. The trial size marketing packs are one of the best ways you can do it. Absolutely. And affordable, right? So it's not like you've got to have an inventory of a couple thousand dollars to try and create cash flow. I mean, it just takes having some of these uh, trial size marketing packets. Um, number nine, confidence in the product, right? All about that sampling rather than having someone, you know, looking at buying a, a, a 90 serving bottle, right? Having a, a sample size, a trial size piece 
allows them to um, consume that product and build some confidence. But also for you as a business owner, it gets positive feedback to improve your confidence in the product as well. Right. So how many people on the line today love our trial size marketing packets? Right. How many of you has it really gotten you to try a, a new product because of the, the delivery size? Right? I think that is such a perfect point to be bringing up, Jason, that, you know, it's not it for a lot of people. It's absolutely a buy before you try. Uh, they want to know. Uh, what does it taste like? They want to know how well does it mix? Really what we're answering with this confidence in product um, for many individuals is, will I do this, right? Do, do I see myself mixing this up each morning? Do I see myself using this in the case of digestive enzymes with my meals before or after, during, right? And um, But you bring up that great point about it also allows the unfranchised owner to be exposed to more products um, with less um, uh, upfront cost, right? That's one of the things I always mention that I like about our product line and our product business is that we are at the forefront of business without a lot of the upfront cost of running your own business. And, um, and that creates confidence, not just in the product, but confidence in that base 10, seven strong, being able to create your small portfolio. Of, and in some of you, a large portfolio of customers, right? Now, number eight, Jason, is my favorite. Um, and so I, I love that you said, you know, we could have put any one of these at number one, because for all of you listening on the line tonight, um, one of these is going to is going to rise to the top for you. Like, yep, that's the reason I'm going to use trial size marketing. And I think this is true for a lot of people that I speak to, Jason, that product talking points, knowing what to really um, kind of tease out of all of the information that you've been given about a product, knowing what's going to be the most meaningful or important to bring up first. What are those points? And um, what are um, some of the features that we want to make sure people are aware of? What differentiates us in the market if we're talking to a consumer that is already using maybe a digestive enzyme or a multivitamin or an antioxidant product? And these flyers give you many of those talking points, make it possible um, for you to feel like you're personally educated about the product and that you're going to be concise in your messaging, that they're, your customer is going to get the exact information that they need, but you also know where your resources live. So if they have more questions, I love more questions, Jason. I don't know about you, but, but I love them because that's the second reason to talk to my customer, to follow up with my customer, to get back with my customer, right? But these product talking points feed into number nine, which is confidence in the product. You feel confident talking about the product. Especially products that maybe it's not your major, like web centers, for example. Maybe I'm not so well versed in digestive enzymes or the daily essentials. And, you know, otherwise I would go directly to say shop.com, the product detail page and try and sift and sort through all of that content to then determine what I'm gonna share with a potential customer. And then I might be fearful because it's too much information for me to even share with someone. Right, exactly. So some of the ways that the uh, product talking points are brought up on these flyers is to do just that, to maybe create more interest, to create more, what do we talk about? What is that? And we're looking for more, what is that? How can that help me? Do you have anything else that I might want to be using with that? Or do you care if I give this to a family member, a friend, or someone that I know, right? These are the types of things that these expertly done, professionally done flyers can do for each and every one of us. Moving into other reasons, let's talk about uh, number seven, Jason. Well, I mean, with all the different types of uh, samples that we have already, we've got four, uh, five if you include Nutrimetrics, obviously, um, a great addition, but it allows us to have multiple conversations rather than being that one product uh, focused company because we're, we're dealing with individuals with all different sorts of um, needs. So the idea is that we can really, you know, really speak to what's 
you know, in their mind right now? What, what challenges might they be facing? And we can really do what we should be doing. That's listening, right? Listening Absolutely. to, uh, you know, maybe some challenges or pain points that they've got that we can address rather than doing what we, we, a lot of us fear is selling rather than trying to right. go out and try and sell six bottles of digestive enzymes. Let me hear what people around me are saying and then provide them maybe a sample uh, to try. Right. And again, what we're doing is we're lowering that barrier to getting started today on your health and nutrition journey. We're lowering that barrier by making it easy for the consumer to say, sure, I'd be interested in trying that. But just as you said, we're opening up um, a consumer base that maybe we didn't know that we could have. Um, You know, we joke tonight that you're the web center guy. Um, And um, and we can also, you know, uh, well, we may joke that you're the web center guy. Maybe we say, I'm all about healthy nutrition, but being in medicine, how much did I learn about the actual skin skinceutical side of something, right? People will often see me as just that consummate healthy nutrition or even weight loss person, but they wouldn't think to ask me. I maybe wouldn't even think to ask me about skincare, but with listening, like you're talking about now, I may run into someone that says, no, I really feel like I've got my game when it comes to supplementation, diet, fitness, right? Even sleep. I really feel they'll say I'm really on my game. I don't really feel like that's an issue. It's just this hydration of my skin. I, you know, I drink all the right water and you know, I think I'm going into a conversation about digestive health when maybe number seven really reveals to us that by being better listeners and not being a one product company, we can open up the conversation to, it may surprise you to know, but I've got something that you can try. It's got, it's got benefits as it relates to hydration um, you know, health of aging skin uh, as we think about Uh, A lot of the oxidative stress that's in our environment, we definitely want to be thinking about our skin as well. So I really like the fact that these multiple trial size allow you to kind of what I like to refer to, Jason, is bob and weave with your customer. Make sure that you can uh, give them good content, good information, and a very good product to meet the need that they've decided to prioritize. Now, this is where we get kind of into the tech side of things, right? So number six is there's a built-in customer follow-up with the marketing app. And that's available both in a mobile app as well as in on uh, your, your laptop or the websites where make it very easy to share information. But Jason, talk to us about some of the finer points of that customer follow-up. Well, we always say fortune is in the follow-up and you can hand out these samples to hundreds or thousands of people. But if you don't do a a good enough job following up, um, it's a poor investment of your time and your money, right? So um, tying the technology to these trial sizes um, is a critical step in your success as an unfranchise owner. So um, the the app is so easy to use. We made it so it's uh, intuitive. And it's just with a click of a button, it will engage the follow-up process if you use the app, right? So if you're handing it out in person, you need to make sure that you log it into the app. It's easy enough. Or you can even send it through the app. We'll talk about that momentarily. But the idea is that um, it allows you to have a consistent um, follow-up conversation with these potential customers that you're handing out these samples to. And I love that because I think a, a lot of people will agree with me that our schedules are so tight nowadays that some of the things that we know that we should be doing are slipping through the cracks because we don't haven't scheduled it, right? But having a regimented follow-up process can help you. I, and you brought up something I think is important for everyone to know. It's not just built-in customer follow-up, right? It's built in business follow-up as well. I don't know if you guys know this, but you get engaged in the drip marketing just like your customer does, right? So while your customer is being encouraged um, with, um, you know, rewarded with an email or a text, depending on how, um, uh, with, with the, uh, the, through the marketing app, a message to them that lets them know, listen, this is on its way. Keep a lookout for your sample. You're also being given a, a, an alert that lets you know, listen, we've sent this out. You're going to want to follow up 
and let them know that you're going to be, uh, you know, talking to them about this sample and their experience of this sample. And it will even give you the text and content that you can use to simply send text or email, depending on how you are collect, how you are uh, conversing with your customer. Uh, it's customizable. You're able to change that text content so you can truly personalize it based, Jason, everyone on the conversation you guys had that day. You know, I just wanted to follow up on some of the uh, questions that you had. And I think this is going to be a great solution. Here's why. Remember, this have, and then you get to fill in some of those features, advantages, and benefits. The entire drip campaign to them is customizable. Um, the the follow up by you and the reminders from you, uh, letting you know that you've got to engage. And um, so in that very busy environment, Jason, we get tapped on the shoulder that says you might want to do this. It's how you're going to increase and improve the user experience. And I encourage that everyone does that. Don't just rely on, oh, well, I know the email got sent out. I mean, we all know what happens with emails. Right. Yeah. But we, you know, we always say seven times, you know, seven different ways from seven different people. This is, you know, another method of reaching out. You've got the, the in-person, maybe that's how it started. You've got the, uh, the email that goes out, then you're getting a text message out to them and maybe even a personalized phone call at the end of this campaign. And it allows you to have multiple touch points with them as you're planting seeds along the way, using technology, as well as, you know, that one-to-one -one conversation. That's so important because we know that customers, some of them need a light hand and they're just going to be very motivated on their own. And some of them need a little bit more encouragement. And that's a, that's a powerful thing to remember because the only person that has that information is you as the customer manager. You're the only one that has the experience to be able to say, I kind of was picking up the vibe that they were laying down and how they'd like to be communicated. So if we just rely on the app to do it, we miss out on that personalized approach. But with you in the driver's seat, you have the ability, right, to be light or heavy with phone calls, emails, just depending on the kind of support that they need and the type of customer service, um, uh, customer uh, support manager that you are, right? Now, this is number five. Honestly, Jason could have made it into the top three. This is a tip that I learned from Jason, right? When it comes to handing out uh, the samples, how you can maximize other resources in your business. Tell us a little bit about this coupon code idea you have, Jason. Yeah, absolutely. I I always like to look at all the different tools at my disposal as an unfranchised owner and find ways that I can let them each work together right, in a, a symbiotic type of relationship. So a great um, incentive for a new customer purchase, or maybe it's an existing customer with a new product order, and it, it might start that conversation through the trial size marketing and using the app. Well, a great incentive is maybe to offer a coupon code, right? And maybe you offer that coupon code um, so that they can order that product that they tried. Now, I would love to say, Dr. D, that you get 100% of the people that you hand out the, the sample sizes to, but we know that's just not reality, right? And, and it's timing and there might be different reasons. And maybe you did a great job and the app did a great job and the, the potential customer had a great result, but for whatever reason, it wasn't time right now. You can leverage you know, the email marketing campaigns and the coupon codes is a way to, you know, reinvigorate that conversation down the road. So maybe it wasn't today and in three days, but it might be something to follow up on in another month or two months. Maybe something has changed in their life, um, but you can leverage that coupon code as another touch point without having to think about offering them another sample of the same type of product, right? Yeah. So leverage the, the coupon codes for sure. I, I, I loved this idea, and that's why it made it into our top 10 list as Jason and I were talking, because I thought, let's make sure that we're, when we're if we're going to give pro tips, let's make sure we're talking about the additional follow-up, right? The follow-up with other uh, products that are like in kind. Like you guys have seen that through websites where they say customers just like you, right? Now we've created a bit of a tribe. Um, that we've created a sense of like, there's other people like me, other people are utilizing these products. Pa uh, customers just like you also purchased these or also looked at these. And you guys have a way to kind of, um, you know, hand that over 
uh, to individuals because you have the conversation. You know what you want to personalize. Um, I, I don't want to be too tongue in cheek about it, but at the end of the day, um, we're all horrible historians, right? So we don't always remember um, what we said or how we felt. And these coupon codes and the customer follow-up campaigns, and I love that word, it's a campaign. Treat it like a campaign. Don't let it go on autopilot. Like you've got to focus. There's something you're trying to create here. But that's one of the things I really love about it because customers are, at the end of the day, we're really poor um, historians. We don't always remember when we bought something or why we wanted to do something. And that customer manager can remind us of what we talked about that was a value that day, why we wanted more energy, uh, maybe better focus. We wanted something that was missing from that day. And we want to bring that back to people. And I think coupon codes, again, they they give you that um, uh, that entrance into, we talked about this and I just want to make uh, you know this available uh, to you. So I love, love the coupon code idea. As we move into four through two, because, you know, there always has to be a number one on a top 10 list. So as we move through this, improving BB production and consistency, utilizing the trial size marketing does exactly what we had just mentioned. It moves and motivates people into a new product purchase because they have, again, that confidence in the product. They were able to try before they bought. Uh, they can see themselves doing this. I suggest that you use words like this. Um, you know, I, I can I, I can see this working for you based on the conversation that we had. I can really see this being the solution uh, you're looking for. And as a result of being that kind of customer manager, we can improve BV production, our volume production with regular um, purchases of our consumable products. Um, that are in 15 to 30 to 45 day supplies, right? So we want to be thinking about um, packaging, even other ingredients, uh, other products that we have as we think about um, sharing more information with people and um, products that go well together. And they say, you know what, that makes sense. That's something that I'm looking for, but it starts with one product, right? It starts with sharing information about one product and then letting them know the importance of regular use of that product. We always joke with people, you're not going to brush your teeth just once. You don't go to the dentist, the dentist twice a year and expect everything to be healthy. No, it takes consistent effort, even if it's small effort. And so I love encouraging people to purchase their products on a regular basis, every two, three, um, or four weeks, depending on the cycle that they're running. Yeah. And I think uh, we talk about improving BV production. We're not talking about just you as the UFO, the unfranchised owner. We're talking about your business, which means your entire organization, because we know that this is a highly duplicatable process. Okay. So you can have other people in your organization doing exactly the same thing. And that too is going to um, you know, improve the BV production uh, globally across your whole organization, just not in your personal um, you know, retail business. Perfect. Oh, I touched some screens when I shouldn't be. Um, increasing the BV commissions, as you said, it's, it's about team growth, right? Um, and I had started to talk about number two, which is that build share of customer, right? You're going to in, uh, encourage customers for regular use by making the product meaningful to them. And that's why Jason and I have chosen to talk about digestive enzymes today, because we're definitely in a season where this is more meaningful than it is at any other time of the year. And it's so funny because I think that this season really does go from about the Halloween season, Jason, into Super Bowl season, right? This isn't just about next Thursday. This isn't just about um, holidays that happen uh, throughout November and December. But I think for a lot of us and our customers, we're kind of taking this through the Super Bowl. And I want you to think of that um, as a, a build share of customer opportunity for you. There are so many conversations that can be had 
after you've talked about the trial size digestive enzymes, in particular at this time of year. So I really want us to capture this opportunity, not look back over our shoulder and say, oh, that was a missed opportunity, right? Right. And I, I think you make a great point. If we start these conversations now, if you ha haven't had these conversations yet, it's going to be a topic of discussion for you over the next multiple weeks, if not months, because we have some of these uh, other holidays. And, and, you know, when I said uh, teach some TLS classes, I'd say, you know, everyone has a challenge from Halloween until even say January 2nd. Um, and they realize like, oh, they're going to go down the slippery slope. I said, it's really five days, right? It, it's, it's, you can manage your health uh, and, and have five days of maybe some slip ups where you maybe overindulge. It's the problem is that you're treated as one long like holiday between, you know, like you said, maybe Halloween and now the Super Bowl, right? We're talking yeah. months <laughs> and then they spend the rest of the year, Dr. D, trying to fight all of that until the next Halloween. Right. right? Listen, that's a really powerful, you guys pick that up. That is a very powerful statement. At the end of the day, um, you know, seven days a week over the next four months, um, you're going to probably be nailing your health goals, right? Um, there's going to be a handful of times, but it's truly only a handful of times where you may, um, you know, not be completely on your program. You may not be completely on that journey that you started. And that's okay, because we're talking about a ratio of bad days to nailing it days, right? That's ju just not something you need to be concerning yourself about. I love, I love that you brought that up. And of course, number one is developing a new customer. Uh, this isn't about unfranchised owners trying the samples. While we definitely want everyone to experience product and be a product of the product, these trial size reign supreme when it comes to developing new customers. Right. And we, we say, what is the, the foundation we're looking to build here? You're not looking to build a, a, a business with two uh, lines of distribution of unfranchised owners servicing uh, zero customers, right? right? It starts with you having some customers and developing a, a strong base of 10 customers, repeat purchases, and then being able to duplicate that to expand your organization. And there's, you know, I think these are a no-brainer, Dr. D, like I said, when we started, that this is the most duplicatable retail system I think that anyone can do, regardless of your major. Because as you start a business, maybe you're focused, I keep saying on web centers, but it doesn't mean everyone in my organization is focused on web centers. How can I assist that new unfranchised owner develop their 10 preferred customers? Well, I think the trial size marketing and the unfranchised marketing app are the answer. I absolutely agree. It's duplicatable. You don't have to have extensive knowledge about the products. You don't have to have that paralysis by analysis. Uh, you can go ahead and get started. And that may be, just as we were saying, that start with you on a product that turns into uh, an experience that you're willing to share with other people. You had uh, mentioned, Jason, that sometimes we get afraid to sell things. And one of the things that the trial size marketing allows us to do is personally to have our experience where we're just sharing things, right? We're not selling things, but trial size also uh, creates that relationship with the new customer. And, what, and that's what you're looking for is that kind of trust, that dialogue, and that says, you know, I'm, I'm here in your court. And it doesn't start with, um, closing a cell, but actually closing to the next conversation, the next follow up, the next, this is what we're going to do. And this is what you can expect. I love, Jason, that you're bringing up how duplicatable it is because your customer, the new one, doesn't know what the next step is. And this makes it possible for us to tell them what the next step is, but also kind of be very consistent in that next step because of the drip marketing campaign, because of the um, the way that you can duplicate this system by handing them out, following up, maximizing other resources like the coupon codes. And so you're also being consistent in your business, right? By taking these small duplicatable steps, you're creating that consistency in your business, not just in that BB, but in the practice of your business. Um, how many people feel like 
they were all over the map and they were going to do something meaningful for their business today and then didn't end up doing it because life got in the way. And that's why I love Jason, you brought up schedule it and that doesn't happen. Right. And so these are really easy steps that we can take. Now, Jason, you, you know, we've got our own top 10 list. You know, we've got the things that we think are important, but maybe something that's worth doing is bringing a proof outside of my experience or your experience. You know, you had mentioned, of course, we know that not 100% of the people we give a sample to are going to be interested, but you may be interested to know that one, uh, that nine out of 10, right, consumers will try a sample. Those numbers are very much in your favor, especially when the, it's um, above 50% of uh, consumers that will purchase a product that they sample, that try before they buy, that confidence in a product. As much as 40% of individuals will change their brand. So we talked earlier about how someone may feel like they're really on point with their supplementation. And so we talked about adding a skin SkinCeutical, like the needle-free serum from Lumiere de B trial size with them. Well, when they see those kinds of results and they have that kind of experience with you as a customer manager, they're bound to say, do you have other things that I'm already doing? I think I like this brand. I think I like my customer manager. I kind of like this experience, this personal shopper almost experience. And now we start to see people change their brand, especially when you can show them the ease of use with the isotonic line. Better than Go ahead. I was yeah. just going to say that a, a lot of times they, you don't have to make the sale that they need to take uh, nutraceuticals. Maybe they're already taking something. So half your job is already done. They already believe that they need to take a product for their health. All you're going to do is have them introduced to a new way of taking a product and introduce them to the, say, the delivery system. Exactly. And that's another reason why these samples are so uh, amazing is that it just helps your conversation with those types of individuals as well. Right. And that we come back to what we were talking about earlier, where what you're looking for is the person to say, what is that? And then ultimately transition into, I can do that. So they, they're going to ask not just what is that flyer you have? What is that stick pack you have? They're also going to want to know about the delivery system. You want to feel confident talking about the delivery system because it is one of those those differentiators, those things that make you different than the supplement brand that they're already taking. The fact that it's customizable with other isotonics. And that's why we know that better than 50% of people um, will look for um, an not just an alternative brand, but they'll start to look for alternatives to products that they're already using. I love this number. 77% said receiving product sample would motivate them to try another from that brand, right? So this is that building out share of customer. The numbers bear out that sampling works. We know that trial size marketing is duplicatable and it simplifies your approach because the path is, is laid out for you. There's a roadmap um, for the trial size marketing. Um, I, I don't want to um, to leave this slide without giving um, our sources. Mm -hmm. The source of this material is at, um, the neosoulcorp.com. And this is information about why is product sampling so unbeatable. But I want to give a big shout out to my friend, Lisa Martin. She was my source for this material. <laughs> Always bringing great information to us. And, and, and why are we talking about you know, certainly the digestive enzymes um, of all the different uh, sample packets we have is we know that this is going to be a time where a lot of people are traveling, aren't they, Dr. Yeah, D, right? Absolutely. Um, they're going to be communing with other people. They're going to be maybe perhaps overindulging a little bit. I mean, even in the chat, what are, what are some things that people are going to be overindulging on over the next couple of days, uh, if not for the next couple of weeks, right? Does um, maybe pumpkin pie come to mind? Right? Yep. Or apple yep. pie. Courtney and Ian said pie. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, apple pie a la mode, get some ice cream in there. Maybe just, maybe just too much, right? Being almost gluttonous, right? In general, right. just overeating. You know, we talk about filling your plate, but it's usually you know, food is usually falling off the plate with, you know, all those starches and sugars that we talk about, right? Oh, so we got we have people uh, mentioning alcohol, mashed potatoes. You are part of my tribe, right? <laughs> mashed potatoes are absolutely delicious. Uh, turkey, for sure. And this is, 
you know, um, uh, you know, ham, turkey, uh, definitely the sweet stuff. You know, this is where people feel like they need to be the hostess with the mostest. And in doing that, you know, they want you to feel welcome. And isn't it true, Jason, that we often welcome people with food, comfort food? Um, you know, we make sure that they're well fed. We make sure that they're well taken care of. We're always um, being in service to other people, especially when they're in our home. Um, and so I really want us to think just about that. Like, where are you going to be traveling? Who will you be gathering with? Um, you know, what kind of experiences and memories are you creating over the next handful of months? And think about who's going to be creating those memories with you. Um, and then think about their circle of influence. Think about um, how, uh, you know, you may be able to create a conversation where you're able to build a relationship and build trust with other individuals and help them kind of find their path. And that's really what we're talking about with the digestive enzymes, because over this season of indulgence that may or may not end at the Super Bowl, depending on um, where your head's at with that sort of thing, um, we know that it's not enough to tell people to eat healthy foods, right? That you need to get more prebiotic foods in your diet, that you need more fiber. Um, I just to throw out some numbers out here, you'll probably be shocked to know that only about 5% of the adult population in the United States meets their minimum fiber goals. And that's something that, you know, we can really improve as long as we're building a conversation. And these trial size marketing, these digestive packs are a, a conversation starter when it comes to some of those types of statistics. You know, we want people to drink plenty of fluids, stay hydrated, exercise, reduce the consumption of highly refined foods. But I'm telling you right now, Jason, if I were to open up a conversation with someone at a party, at a gathering, and be like, you know, now's not really the time for you to be indulging, right? Now's not really, I mean, it's not really good for your health to be getting that much sugar, right? They're going to be like, who invited the Debbie Downer? Who invited this chick to the party, right? They'll be sitting at the kid's table. Yeah. Right. They're going to push me <laughs> off of the kid's table, right? But what is a great conversation starter, or at least maybe the way I want to put it is not a conversation stopper, is, you know, I find myself able to tolerate, you know, the number of social engagements I'm going to be having over the next handful of months without necessarily feeling uncomfortable or feeling like I'm putting on extra weight because I'm taking steps to support my digestive health. So don't stop the conversation, right? Start the conversation with things like digestive enzymes. I love that you said that is we're planting seeds. We're listening to people. We're building relationships. And this is not a one and done scenario. It's not like you have this one opportunity. Um, you're you're going to have this conversation with those individuals, maybe um, hours after the meal, maybe the next day, the next couple of weeks, right? It's not like you have to get it done right now because that might be um, that sense of urgency or kind of pushes someone back to say, whoa, Ease up. We're just here for a nice gathering. Right? <laughs> Slow your roll. Ease up. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Pump the brakes, Dr. D. Pump the brakes. Yeah. I love it. And that's what we get to do here. I mean, one of the things I love about this trial size um, flyer, Jason, is that it creates that social proof. You know, one of the things that you can rely on is you bring up and the benefits of products, you know, where you build that relationship, where you're, you know, waiting for the right space in conversation. If I love that this one uh, has the social proof on it, where there's reviews on this that show that other people really see benefit. They see benefit relatively quickly. They find that it's, you know, a game changer when it comes to overeating or overindulgence. Yeah, and I love the, the insert here on the digestive enzymes because it's very simple and anyone can relate. I, I love the, the head tag here. Do you ever feel a little too full? Well, who hasn't, right? If that's just a question that we can learn to ask, right? Right, yeah. and, and, and then remind them, and that's one of the nice things about giving out the trial size is that those words are also written inside, right? So while someone may not remember uh, the entire conversation you had with them, right? They get reminded and they go, oh yeah, that's right. I mean, I did that a lot in practice, Jason, where I would use handouts and I would circle the things I wanted the patient to 
um, to pay attention to. There were so many um, benefits to using the product, but I would specifically circle the ones that we had talked about so that when they go home and family members say, what did you talk to the doctor about, right? What did you talk to your customer manager about in this case? They can say, oh, this is what we talked about. So I would point out how, you know, just the way Jason just did. Did you ever feel a little bit too full? Shoot, who hasn't, right? Create an experience, with individuals, which does bring us to a lot of the frequently asked questions. Jason, if we're going to be in person with people, right, there's a way to really maximize the trial size. And it starts with having them with you, right? So you need to purchase the trial size. They need to be available to you, but you also need to be able to talk about the product. So you want to feel comfortable answering questions like what are digestive enzymes? Um, you know, you had mentioned and other people in the chat had mentioned that people are going to be eating probably a lot of pie, the pie a la mode. If you're doing it right, you do it a la mode. I'm just saying. Right. Which means you want to be able to talk about the fact that this has a full spectrum and this has a full spectrum of enzymes in it. So it's going to be breaking down fat. It's going to be breaking down protein, but it's also going to be breaking down those sugars. That's the benefit of a digestive enzyme. You know, um, it's not just seeding conversations. It's also feeding the gut with probiotics. You see what I did there? See? <laughs> picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> yeah, you're picking up what I'm putting down, right? So what are probiotics? They're just simply beneficial bacteria that have a large number of health benefits um, in the gut. I, you know, we often say the road to health is paved with good intestines. But one of the things I want you to really pick up here is the fact that our digestive enzymes are paired with a, um, a branded um, probiotic called Lactospore is again, one of those differentiators, right? So trial size marketing is duplicatable. It's laid out for you. There's a step-by-step -step approach to how you do this. It allows you to talk about the novelty of the product, whether that's the isotonic delivery, whether that is the formulation of the products, the fact that we added probiotics, to the digestive enzymes. You may wanna focus on something that Jason had mentioned, ease of use, you can travel with them, right? But you also want to know about the product. It's gluten-free. Uh, this is a vegan product. You wanna make sure that you feel real comfortable with some of these, this product information that's both in the flyer on your product detail pages, um, but you wanna feel comfortable having the conversation with people um, about, what may be meaningful to them. And I'm going to tell you, um, on the go, convenience, ease of use, taste good. Don't get bogged down in the science. Don't memorize what is a digestive enzyme, right? You just say it's what you do after you eat like that. That's what a digestive enzyme is, right? Um, have your own experience with these products for sure. Yeah. And those are such great talking points. I think, you know, a lot of people right now are looking for what gluten-free products they're looking for yeah. because it's such a, a hot topic, you know, in, in the marketplace right now in, in vegan foods and no detectable GMOs. I mean, those are things that people are bringing up and they're concerned about. So, and, and just know that these are great products, but you have to be able to talk at a little bit about this, uh, you know, type of product uh, and how we put it together, but all the information is at your disposal. And that's right. what I love, right? Exactly. Um, you know, one of the questions that just came in through the chat that I want to mention is someone had asked about the difference between, you know, can we compare um, a digestive enzymes to something like Tums? And I think this is, uh, I'm, I'm bringing this out because I think this is a really important differentiator, right? There are so many additional benefits to products like the digestive enzymes and to products like an, an antioxidant that's as diverse as OPC3 or an activated B complex that are in the daily essentials. Where you want to focus is on situations like that is recognizing that someone's looking for relief right now, but what they can have is the benefits of um, digestive support with the digestive enzymes, but there are ongoing health benefits. Part of it's that probiotic. Part of it's the fact that digestive enzymes don't just support the digestion of food, but can create a healthy terrain in the gut. They can create a healthy environment for good gut bugs, 
Uh, they can uh, create less discomfort potentially in the gut so that an individual finds themselves maybe losing or using some of those relief aids less frequently. And I think those are some things that are worth bringing up. Always talk about the additional health benefits. Um, and uh, and that, that's why Digizyme is you know, something I want you guys to know about as we think about these products. Um, this is not just any over-the-counter, any run-of-the-mill digestive enzyme. This is a plant-based multi-enzyme complex. And that complex includes things like proteases to break down protein, um, um, sucrases, maltases, lactases to break down a wide variety of sugars, lipases to break down fat, amylases to break down carbohydrates. So it covers the three classes of macronutrients to so really digest those, right? The proteins, the carbohydrates, and the fats. But knowing that we need added support for things like sugars, simplified or processed foods, um, that we want to break down our food stuff uh, into small energy particles. You want something that's got clinical studies behind it, like the digizyme ingredient, which has been clinically studied to show that it breaks down foodstuffs, is what I'm calling it, um, into energy particles that have a higher bioavailability that can improve the absorption and nutrient terrain in the intestine. So it's really important to, uh, to pay attention to pay attention again to some of those other additional health benefits, like the fact that we paired it with lactospore. Lactospore is a clinically efficacious, clinically studied um, um, strain of bacteria called um, bacillus coagulans. And when you see the bacillus uh, name, what that's telling you is that these are what I like to refer to, Jason, as the bouncers in the gut. See, probiotics, they weed and feed, but you also need a really good bouncer. And the bouncers are the ones that um, are fermenting in the large intestine after a meal. They're, they're getting rid of everything that you don't want. They're making an environment inhospitable to bad bacteria and really creating a growth terrain for the good bacteria. So these are spore forming. Some people call them um, soil based. These are some really popular terms in the media today. Um, spore forming soil based um, um, or what's called a postbiotic. So these are some of the ways that you can look at lactospore and it it um, can live through very acidic environments. And that's its job is to weed and feed and bounce out the bad guys, even when the environment is somewhat inhospitable. That's the benefit to having a spore forming bacteria. Lactospore has been clinically shown to improve gut microflora by pushing out the bad guys and letting the good stuff in to help good bacteria positively germinate. Um, one of the bigger benefits to lactospore that not everyone's aware of is that it increases the production of something called short chain fatty acids. And this is as geeky as I'm gonna to get tonight, Jason, but I want people to know that this creates an improvement of short chain fatty acids simply because those are the, the uh, that's the fodder that your gut, your immune system and your metabolism use for energy. So you wanna be a better energy burner, a better metabolic, you wanna be more metabolically sound, uh, um, lactospore, because it increases short chain fatty acids, is giving your metabolism more energy, is giving your immune system the kind of um, support that it needs, and it's giving good bacteria the energy that they need to uh, proliferate and really seed and feed uh, that gut. And I think those are some great reasons why this is a product for anyone. It's it's not just for someone who's overindulging, right? It's not something right. oh just on Thanksgiving or for a birthday party or a Super Bowl party. These this is a great product for any person to add to their regimen. That's really important to bring up because while you know um, holidays coming up or this season of indulgence. Um, coming up where people are making an excuse. They're like, oh no, it's fine that I do this. Digestive enzymes are great for a part of that conversation. 
But in that follow-up that we're talking about is when you say, you know, there are additional benefits. Coming back to the question I was just asked about an over-the-counter relief, right? That's something that you take on an as-needed basis. With digestive enzymes, you're less likely to need that. Right. So let's talk a little bit about there's three ways, of course, that we can share a sample we can give in person. And that's that's what we're talking about tonight. You can add it to an order that a customer, uh, a new customer or uh, uh, an existing customer has made and you can uh, send it through or have them ask for it through the unfranchise marketing app. And I would say that no matter what, the app is going to be used, right? Our, our great technology is going to be used no matter how you share a sample. But today we're talking about how you share it in person. And I'll say, you know, I've done all three methods and I encourage all of you to find the best case for you. But I will say that I've had personally the best results when I've been able to have the conversation and use it in person and then use the app to follow up. Now, I love technology. So the first thing I thought of was, oh, great. Let me send it through on franchise. I'm going to add it to an order. Let me dial it up on the app and just send it out. But I'll tell you that my results uh, were staggering when I was ordering the packets and actually hand uh, giving, delivering them to my customers or my, my potential customers um, because it allowed that conversation. It, it allowed me to get their permission, right? Yeah. You know, in a much easier way because I knew that they wanted it and I could answer their questions and, and really speak to them. So it made the follow-up even easier because we had that conversation. It wasn't just some electronic, let me send it through an app. Um, although that is incredible as well, but you want to make sure that you've done the, the one-to-one as well. And there's going to be no better time to have some of those conversations than right around the corner here, right? Yeah, totally, totally agree. And um, I think that's the the biggest tip I have for people with trial size marketing is to have that conversation, to let people know that this is taking place and that you want to follow up with the conversation, that you're sending this because of a conversation you've had. Um, so let's make sure that we're doing just that. Like you said, your results were staggering when you started utilizing these in person. Get your set of 10 packets so that you're prepared uh, for the upcoming season. I mean, frankly, I don't think 10 will be enough, but I think that's where everybody can get started. And Jason, uh, you know, Jason reminded me today that we need to make sure that we don't let um, anything like Thanksgiving's just around the corner to prevent us from doing this. Um, until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow afternoon, we have the opportunity for expedited shipping, right? So this is going to get to you before your uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah, because I know a lot of people are thinking, yeah. it's too late. What We're on a webinar Monday night. Thanksgiving's on, on Thursday. How am I going to do this? You know, I love this information, but it's not it's not too late. And of course, this isn't your only opportunity um, moving through the season. But I would say even order a pack of 10, you know, by tomorrow at one, like you said, and you're going to do yourself a, a good uh, service. Right. You're going to you're, you're going to take that step and you're going to go ahead and get started. So these you've been hearing some of our pro tips. Jason, give me a pro tip. How do you get the product in front of people? Well, I think the first thing is using it right? Mm -hmm. Just using the product in front of people. Um, you know, I might have a bottle if it's at my house, but I'm more likely to tear open a packet right? And pour it into, into my water glass at the, at the meal table, or maybe I'm having it maybe before we sit down or maybe after I'm, I'm sitting down, it's very easy, user-friendly. It's not like I've got to carry the bottle around, right? I can have this in my pocket or I can have it right. in, in my wife's bag or something. We usually have a, a bunch of these um, in there. So like we've always said in the basic five, people are going to ask, what's that? If you use the product in front of them, I know many unfranchised owners, even when they're going out to eat at a restaurant, pull this out and before they have their meal, they're pouring it. And what happens? The wait staff asks, what is that? Right. Absolutely. So that's a great way to get the conversation started. It's a great way because it's it's a bright color. If people take notice, they see you doing something. They, I mean, people are just naturally very curious. The other thing is people are naturally, they like to talk about their pain points. And that's something that you had brought up earlier is this may not happen at a dinner table, right? This may happen after the fact when someone wakes up the next morning or later, an hour later says they're just feeling uncomfortable. 
So you want to listen as you were talking, uh, Jason, you'd mentioned like one of your bigger superpowers is going to be listening for some of those pain points, the opportunity where someone else has brought up the need for this. And it can be as simple um, as saying, you know, what, I've got something for you that might help. Do you want to go ahead and give this a try? Um, I, I do want to just mention one of these pro tips, which is um, don't give samples to the same group of people. Listen, if you spend holidays and you spend social gatherings with the same group of people, I don't want you going in there with the same sample packs, right? In this case, I want you to go in there with the ability to actually give them uh, the products, right? I want to make it available to them. We are like, I, I can do this where I'm coming over. I know that we're going to be at the same party together. And last time you, you took all my dang digestive enzymes. This time I'm bringing you your own box, right? And you're bringing a checkbook, but you can have fun. You can, you can have fun with it. Or if you are going to be in the same group of people, go ahead and ask for the referral, right? This helped you last time we were talking. I don't know if there's someone that maybe you want to share this with, right? Yeah. And I think the, the big thing that you said is listening to people and listening for those cues Right. What are some things that people might be um, experiencing or complaining about? What are those pain points? They might even just say the, the word like, oh, I'm so stuffed or uh, I'm stuffed like a turkey or I'm so full or or, you know, as you mentioned, maybe Uncle Bill unbuttons his top button in his pants because <laughs> he's just not feeling well. Right. What are the what are the things that you can you know, kind of clue into? Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's now, important. Jason, we were joking earlier that sometimes we see people doing it wrong. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, What are some of those examples? Well, I think we hear we so often um, I don't want to say we sound desperate, but we, we want to solve a problem and we're, we're so ready to be there to rescue someone. So, we, the, you know, they say, oh, I'm too full. And, and we and we rush out with the enzymes and they say, oh, I'm so tired, though. And you rush out and say, well, let me mix you up a mocha tonics. And then, you know, they, they say, oh, I'd like to have my after after uh, meal coffee. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. I've got a, a trim cafe. Let, let's try oh, that. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, let me add some tea. You want tea? You I know you like tea. And then they complain about another, you know, digestion. The thing you're like, oh, well, I've got some aloe, or you take out the aloe juice. And, you know, I, we understand that you're trying to get some products in front of people, but you, you look a little weird and you wonder why people might be avoiding you. And it's because you're, you're showering them with products, right? You're like, hey, try this, try this, right? It's, it's a little bit too much. Dr. Absolutely. <laughs> it, is, it is a little bit too much. We get into that, that space where um, we, we want to be of service, but we're not doing it in an organic way. So make sure, you know, that you don't capture any of these looks like this guy in the lower right hand corner by being like, why are we we're having a nice dinner here? Why are you bringing up your business? But also don't make the mistake like you see the um, the group on the left um, where they're like, you know, let me just send you something right now. Could you, I'm going to send you something. You're going to love it. It's going to show up at your house a little bit later. Um, I'll follow up with you. This is going to be really fun. Go ahead and check to see if you got it. No, no, right now is fine. Go ahead. Just, will you just check your phone to see if like, did you get the alert that I was going to send you something, right? So there's, there's things we want to pay attention to. And this whole thing needs to be a conversation starter. It needs to be a relationship builder. It does not need to end in the cell. Absolutely. And, you know, that's a great point. It might be after the meal or the day after or and quite honestly, a lot of people may not be comfortable having a conversation at a full dinner table of 10 or 12 people about their bloating or their gas or their <laughs> flatulence. Right. That's, you know, so be aware of your surroundings. And that's what we talk about being tactful about it. Right. Absolutely. That's fantastic. So go ahead and maximize your effort. Be familiar. You know, our next pro tip for you is to make sure that you're familiar with the tools that are available to you, that you're utilizing the marketing app, that you're looking at the web page and that you know how to use it so that you can have a really good uh, follow up system uh, with everybody. Um, Jason and I just want to remind you that the season can be your reason or it can be your excuse, right? Don't let shipping get in the way of you getting started. Don't let this season to be your excuse to wait to get started. This season can be your reason or it can be your excuse. 
That's right. And we just want you to take action. We got a couple action items um, coming off of this evening. And I think one of the things that we can all do is we're going to challenge you. Put, put it on your auto ship, right? And your job is to hand out these uh, samples within, ten, you know, to at least 10 people before your next auto ship. It gets the conversation started, helps you build up that uh, base 10. There's BV attached to it. Um, but the idea is this is going to be an ongoing theme for the next couple months, like we talked about. Right. So there's no harm in putting it on your auto ship, even after ordering, you know, your, your, your 10 by for tomorrow at 1 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And also look to send out at least one trial size marketing sample through the Unfranchise app. It's crucial for the building of your business and your relationships with your customers that you know how to use these tools and you maximize the follow-up campaigns. Don't miss next week with Colin Haskins and Brandy Murphy. They will be doing an event just like this one, teaching from their own perspective on how to maximize your business, your growth, and your health, and the health of your community with the uh, with the daily essentials package. And then on Wednesday, December eighth, kind of flipping a script, moving from a Monday night to a Wednesday night, December eighth. Join Lee Rader and Lisa Martin, our director of motives to learn more about the Lumiere Defeat Needle-Free Serum. Until Jason and I get to see you next time, make sure that you have a wonderful holiday and give your family a kiss from us. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.